Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now, I just got my new setup done and this is my first official unboxing. New camera, new setup. I'm just feeling brand new, man. Today we're going to be going over the A50 that Astro Gaming just dropped. This thing is fresh off the presses. These are not even out yet. If you want to check one of these out, man, grab one of these. Uh, put it on your wish list for Christmas or whatever the case may be. You might want to check the link inside the description. But uh, let's hop into this unboxing, man. Let's get it. All right, you guys. So what you are currently looking at are the A50 wireless for PS4 and PC. Now, they do have an Xbox One version slash PC. Um, you guys will hear a little bit more information about those at the end of this video. But for right now, we're going to be unboxing the PS4 slash PC version. Now, also, I have the A50 mod kit, which comes with leather earrings and an all-black band. Now, these things are new and interchangeable, and I'll get more into that after we open up the headset. So, let's check out this headset real quick. Let me just spin it around to me real fast so I can go ahead and cut them open. All right. Now, what the main thing that I've always liked about Astro is their box game is vicious. The box that these headsets come in are amazing they look great and i could just say right now i have every box to every headset i've ever had from astro now i'm just going to go ahead and open up this sleeve you guys might think i'm opening it up slow for a little bit of you know video purposes but no it's very snug and hard to open so let's see what's in the box all right so this year the box comes with less but more i know it is pretty awkward to say those two words in the same sentence but you know it is what it is but checking out the a50 now everything is brand new the mic is brand new um the design is a little bit similar to the old design but there are new bearings on the headset that make it look amazing the feel of it is is great really um believe it or not it's freaking awesome but let's go ahead and put that down now this year things have been changed up where the cords are actually separated this year so this year the optical cord comes with the headset and the usb cord comes below this is the word that we don't have we don't have no chill button we don't stop to think about anything now the thing about this card is guys you have to update your software your firmware for your headset or it may not work correctly okay i'm gonna set it say it again make sure you update your firmware and your software to acc if you don't know what acc is it's astro command center the base station is something that is brand new to astro's a50 and i'm going to go into detail more about this because this thing looks sexy this is crazy you guys will probably see me in the frame but um this is all that comes in the box guys this is all that comes in a box. I know people are probably like, bro, I'm so used to having so many more cords. Well, this is it. If you want a pair of A50s, this is all that you need. Make sure you check out the link in the description. But let me go over the base station with you guys real quick. And I know a lot of people are used to looking at a mix amp. Well, this is that in the same as well as your charging base. So let me show you guys how to charge up. Real quick, real quick, before we go into more details about the headset. Now, in order to charge a headset, you have to drop the headset down while it's actually saying A50 towards you, okay? That's what it means. So, in order to charge up, the A50 has to be towards you, all right? All right, you guys see that? All right, yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, okay. Now that the unboxing version of this video is over, it's time to actually hook this up to my console and my PC. I will be doing both in this video. All right. Now, one disclaimer. If you are up to this point of the video and you have an A50 headset in your hand and you want to get your setup done, please update your firmware to your A50 headset and listen to my instructions explicitly. Now, I'm going to plug this into optical in, okay, because it needs to read the optical signature from the PlayStation 4 to the base station. Now, another thing, the USB, before I plug this in, I want to tell you a little bit about it. The USB is not just the thing that powers the base station. You can actually mess with the audio settings of your headset with this USB port 
if you have ACC. Now I will remind you, ACC is Astro Command Center. That's how you tweak with your audios, fix your mic, uh, give it different um, settings of volume, and also you get to change the warning beeps from your headset. So if anybody has ever had a pair of Astros, which are 850s, and you heard your headset dying, and you had that crazy beeping sound going off every other minute, but you're like at the last second of your game, and you can't go and charge your headset, you can't press pause, this gives you the option to change those beeps, tune them down, tune them out, and you can go in about your day. All right, now, remember, it is not on right now, but as soon as I turn this PlayStation on, it's gonna be lit. All right, guys, so now that everything is hooked up, my PlayStation 4 is running the A50 headset, and the base station is currently charging the headset. Now, Dolby Digital is already uh, enabled on here, but I'm gonna show you guys a few different features of the headset while it's on and while it has enough power to do what it has to do. So, first off, when the headset sits on the base station, it will not put out any audio. It is currently in charge mode, and that's the, that's the way that the headset stands. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the headset off the base station, and I'm gonna turn the speakers towards you guys. All right, so the headset is at full blast, and I'm just gonna push a couple buttons so you can hear it. All right, so now that we have the headset on and popping, uh, we have the settings between channels, which is one, two, and three. You have the volume button on the headset, you now have a new power button, which shows a charging symbol, but you have to remember that this is the power button. And you also have the Dolby Digital button. Now, if you press this button, Dolby Digital will be deactivated because as of right now, Dolby Digital is equipped on my base station. Now, you can easily just turn it off and Dolby Digital will turn off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on because I like Dolby Digital. All right, now, remember, I told you guys all about those audio sounds that turn over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put it directly next to the mic, and you guys will be able to hear it. Now, the warning sounds are already on a soft level, so that's pretty good for me. As always, a very, 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 very durable headset. A lot of people don't know why. But Astro just makes a, a, a dope, dope headset. Now, um, let me show you one last thing about this base station. I didn't know if you guys seen it, but they do have the PS4 and PC mode, which also they have a USB port to charge things. Now, one thing about this USB port, if you have your headset charging and you try to put something here to charge like an iPhone or anything like that, it won't be much power put out to charge the phone if the headset is charging. This port right here this charging port is it gives out the most power if the headset is put on here all right so remember if you're trying to charge your phone take your headset off if you're trying to do both don't think about it all right so before i go into pc mode i just want to show you guys a new feature that astro has been pushing for this headset and that is the auto shut off mode now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the headset down and when you put the headset down either you can lay it down you can stand it up like that you can lay it like that you can flip it you can do whatever you want but when you do do that the headset will turn off now you guys currently see a red light on the headset and i actually have to put it down in order for the light to go off All right, so the headset has turned off. Um, I guess the timer is about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, I know a lot of people out there that are always waiting on something like time to go by. It seems like it takes forever, but it was about 15 to 20 seconds for the headset to turn off. And just as you pick it up, it will turn back on. All right, you guys seen the light flash back red and it is back on.
Okay guys, we are back with the A50 headset. I ran a little test real quick. You do not need the optical cable in order to run your A50 headset on the PC. So that's a plus. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm playing a song right now. I'm gonna take the headset off the base and turn it to the max volume. All right, let's do it. All right. So we got Lil Uzi playing through the headset. Now check this out. If you go to game, nothing happens. If you go to voice, nothing happens. So this headset does not work like it does on PS4 with your PC. But the best thing about this is it has the same functionality as when you put the headset on the base, it stops all sound. Now, let's go ahead and try the auto shut off option with the PC. All right, guys, so we are currently testing the auto off option on PC side. And we already know it works with the PS4, just making sure that it works with PC. All right, so this option still works with PC as well as PS4. Let's go ahead and pick the headset up and play a little bit more Uzi. All right guys, so I told you that I would show you how to put on the mod kit for the A50. Now it comes in three pieces. I'm not gonna remind you about that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Since they come with a cloth setting, um, you can take them out and swap them out for leather. Now, it's very self-explanatory, right? So you guys see the little curve that is on this one? You have to find the same exact one with that curve on that side and just pop it in. And it goes the same with the other one. And the headband, people would think that it's pretty hard and is pretty you know, rough and you, it's hard to do. It's not hard to do. All it is is a snap feature, bro. That's it. Snap it out. Boom. Done. <laughs> and you can put in the new one. This is black on black. Um, kind of don't like it because it doesn't match the blue on the headset uh, sides, but it's all good. And you just close and it is snapped in. Pretty easy, you know what I'm saying, to do. Not hard at all. Hey, I just want to thank you guys for watching this unboxing slash setup slash how-to video. Man, it was pretty lengthy, but we got the job done. This new A50 headset is amazing. I'm loving it already, man. Um, I just can't wait to do a couple things with it. But as Lil Uzi would say, man, yeah, let's get out of here, man. Make sure you thumb up the video, share it with your friends. If you want to check out this headset, the description is where you need to be. The link is there. And uh, I ain't got nothing else to say, man. I'm about to listen to some Lil Uzi. Peace, y'all. Yeah.